guys, so I'm back and I'm finally gonna show you how I get my purpley pinkish hair color. It's not permanent, it's temporary. It won't damage your hair if you don't use it too much. FYI, before you guys try this, make sure you do it outside. That's why I'm outside right now. So pardon any of the sounds. I'll try to eliminate that out for you guys, but I had to be outside because I used to do this in my bathroom. And one, it gets a little bit messy depending on what color you use and two, the smell is a little strong, kind of similar to hairspray. So you wanna make sure you're outside in a ventilated area because I don't want you guys getting high off of hair coloring. The first thing that I use is this hair coloring spray right here. I just ran to the store to go get a refill on it. It's Jerome Russell. It's called Be Wild. Now make sure if you get this, it's this exact one with this exact print with this lady's face on it. I'll link them um, down below so that you guys get the right one. The first thing, like I said, you wanna do is make sure you're outside or in a ventilated area. Now I'm just gonna shake this up. You can hear there's like beads in here just to break everything up. If you don't shake it up, it's not gonna come out the right way. It's gonna be messy. Kinda like ketchup, you know, you don't shake ketchup and then all the oily, greasy stuff comes out. Same thing. Now it's time to do the thing thing. First of all, you wanna make sure you figure out which sections that you wanna spray. For me, since this can be a bit messy, I make sure that I don't spray the inner parts of my hair. So the parts that are gonna to be touching your clothing, especially if you're wearing white, don't wear white with this, but you can wear any other color. But you wanna make sure that you don't get like the inside hair because then it'll rub against your clothing and it'll get all over it. That happened to me and it's all over my jacket now. So you wanna make sure when you do spray it, you're just spraying it only on the top or better yet, try and do uh, small sections or just do a bit of highlights. Don't do the whole thing. You can do the whole thing, I've done it before, but just make sure that if you do, you're only wearing dark colored clothing because it's probably gonna get ruined, especially if it rains where you are. So first you're gonna figure out which sections that you wanna spray. I normally only spray the top, and I normally start about right here. So I kind of do more of an ombre. I don't spray the top, so I just find the bottom half, and then just start spraying it. I don't know if you can see the purple coming out and it comes out it's really pigmented you can have the blackest of the blackest hair and it's gonna show up even if you like use a green or anything so you just keep spraying where you want to spray it I mean if you want to do highlights you can just spray a bit of the highlights so you can take one strand just spray that strand or you can do the whole thing I like to do the whole thing because I like the whole bold look so I'm gonna do the whole thing and make sure when you're in between spraying it, just take a little breather, because like I said, it's really, really strong. The smell is super strong. Um, and then when I get close to my face, I just put my hand here just to protect it from getting on my face. For the most part, the purple doesn't really get on my face that much. I notice it does when I use more of like the brighter colors. You never want to just like, I'm going to show you. You don't want to do this. That's too long of a spray. Just little short sprays, just like hairspray. And so I already have one side done. See this side? This side. Um, I know a lot of you guys ask me if it feels crunchy. It only feels crunchy if you do it multiple times. Like for example, this will last me for about a week. Eventually it begins to fade every day, but it lasts for about a week. And if you keep touching up every day and it's building up, that's when it'll get crunchy. But the first time you do it, it will not feel crunchy. It might feel a bit dry, um, but don't worry about that because you can take oil sheen and spray that on top of it and it'll add some shine and it'll add some moisture to it so it doesn't look so dry. Let's say this is a bit too much for you. You can always blend it out. I'm not gonna do it obviously because I don't wanna ruin the curls, but if you don't mind ruining your curls or you have straight hair, you just take a brush and brush it out. The more you brush it out, the more it'll blend and the color will fade. Now when it gets to the ends, I spray a bit more only because I want it to be brighter. I want it to be more of an ombre look. So on the top, I don't spray as much, but on the bottom, I spray a lot. Okay, it's purple now. All right, now it's time for the bangs. The bangs, I literally just put my hand here and just spray it. You're probably gonna use about 75% of the bottle. Make sure you get two bottles because you're gonna run out. This is my purple hair. I get mad hype because I'm like, I can color my hair now. And if you look, if you look at my hands, okay, can you see my hands? It doesn't come off as much as people think it does. You clearly see my hands on purple. But even when it does transfer, like I said, you can wash it out. It's not permanent. It's not gonna damage your clothes or anything like that. So now that it's purple, I'm gonna
gonna put a bit of pink on the ends. I have my pink right here. It's the same brand, same thing, same line. Just gonna shake it up a bit. I'm just gonna take my pink and I'm only gonna focus on the ends. Let's see. Let me get my mirror. All right, the pink can be a bit intense. So, just spritz it. get my purpley pink hair. I don't want you guys getting pissed off at me trying to kill me because I said something wrong. I have another tip for you if you don't want the color to transfer. Just take any hairspray, it doesn't matter. It will lock the color in and you'll be all good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. I know you've been waiting for it for so long and I finally did it for y'all. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Deuces! <laughs> Hold up, hold up, it's my Ray Ray